everyone. In this video, I will do a test uh, with the expression maps articulation type. As you can see on the bottom right corner here, we have uh, two different types. We have direction and attribute. So let's see which way it's the faster way to work with. Now, I, for this video, I use cinematic strings, expression map. Uh, I download that from Steinberg website, and this is it. This is what you get. Now, keep in mind, this one does not work for full and light ensemble. It only works with first, second violin, viola, cello, and basses. Now, as you can see on the screen, I do have the full ensemble and light ensemble for cinematic string expression map, but I did it myself. So, let's do the test first, and then I'll tell you where you can download this full and light ensemble also. Now, let's go, okay, let's close this. So I got a, a melody, if I call it like that. Let me just play it for you to hear. So what I want to do, it's simple. Let's do first note on arco. The next four notes, I'll do staccato. We'll go to C4 a trill, then we're gonna set this to runs and then end to a marcato. So first let's get the one from Steinberg which is a combination between direction and attribute. Okay so let me put this full screen. So I'm going to go ahead and count how many clicks do I have to press to achieve my goal. Let's do first note, as I said, on arco. And then we'll go to these four notes to be staccato. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Now this is the difference between attribute and direction. So direction, it will go by section, and attribute, it will, it will go by note. So if I have this set to attribute, I have to click on every single, under every single note to let the softer note that I want all this uh, to be staccato. Next, we'll go to a trill. Let's do half trill. Okay. And then I say, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six clicks so far. And then we'll do this section here, uh, runs. Will be this one right here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, plus eight, 14. And then we finish with a marcato. Okay, so we have in total of 15 clicks. Let me, okay, why it doesn't show me? Okay, show me the articulations. So we have the articulations there. Let me move this a little bit up. So you can see I'm going to go ahead and bring uh, the player so you can see if he does the changes. So let's play it again. Okay, it works. So now let's do the same scenario 
using everything direction. So I'm gonna mute that, solo this. So I'm gonna go ahead and load symmetric strings. I call it a pre and Steinberg so I know which one it is. So if I go to expression maps, now as you can see, everything it's on direction. All right, there you go. Let's put this full screen. So now everything on direction. Let's do the same thing. So we want the first note, arco. Then next four will be staccato. And then half trill will be this one. Oops, not that one. That one. Okay. Then we go to runs. And then we finish with marcato. Voila. One, two, three, four, five clicks. I'm done. So let's let me bring the player. Let's see if it does the work. that's it so this is the difference we're talking about 10 clicks less if you have everything set to direction instead of attribute now let me show you so this is a Steinberg website where you can download they have a few uh, expression maps for different uh, instruments. Like I said, cinematic strings does not cover full and light ensemble. But if you go to arpeggia.com, now I'll, I'll have both links under the description of this video. So, so you have uh, easy access. We'll bring it to, this is my main website. Go to Musician Zone expression maps if you click on expression maps will bring you to this page where these are the instruments that I have so far so let's say if you wanna click uh, download cinematic strings you just click uh, left click on the picture and there you go it start download and then if I open you got the full light and the regular now all these are set to direction everything here let's say you want to get the Hollywood brass click on the picture now if I open it you get all this instrument everything here it's set to direction so here you can see standard expression map you don't have to do nothing just install and download unzip everything it's a zip file so you have you have to unzip it and put it in uh, whatever folder you want and then load it into uh, into your uh, session um, here on the bottom I have custom expression maps it's basically I call it like that because you don't have to do nothing with the expression map it's basically you have to set up your instrument uh, to work with this uh, expression map but there is also a video so you can see there's a video if I click on it it will play oops it will play and it will show you what you have to do uh, to the instrument to work with this expression map there's gonna be more uh, expression maps here on this page so far this is what I have so when I have time I will uh, constantly add more that's it for this video until next time, be safe.